yeah. Takara. Obviously, you guys know her from Lumi Rank, the best Ken in oh, the yeah, goddamn yeah, yeah. world. Props to him for uh, the grind that he's been on. Uh, I think I've been commentating since like what, like January of this year. So not like super long or anything, but like over the course of the years, like I've been seeing like Takara get like. 33rd to like actually just like top it, uh, fiving like my similar things like that. He's been yeah. getting crazy good results. And he's going up against Surinoko, I think also a top 100 player in terms of Lumi rank rankings. So we've got a high level match coming up. Of course, it is, because it's goddamn Sumapa. So let's get right into it. Unfortunately, falling off of the back here straight up though, but this matchup Ooh. does seem a little bit difficult for Ken at times, considering the fact yeah. that. Uh, okay, for some reason, I thought he was going to die for a second there. He, he, he held off a little bit too much in that upbeat. Scared me a little bit. But. Takara trying to go for that down air. Fortunately, Uppy is going to have a little bit too much priority here, but Takara on that ledge trap scenario, getting him to a lot of high percent jump. A call out winning <laughs> that jump here. Yeah. And oh wow, trying to call out another jump with that uh, Shoryuken. Not going to find it though, but oh, oh my, my god. god! Wait, with the park. <laughs> oh, Wait, he's cracked! The immaculate edge guard. I've never seen something like that in my goddamn life. Takara going for another Shoryuken out of pure frustration. <laughs> he wants his stock gone immediately. You cannot disrespect me like this. Finding this down tilt, finding another RAR here, finding a Nair. I'll try to go oh, for that wow. B reverse. Up tilt though. Sunoko's going absolutely crazy on Takara right now, 71%. Finding a Nair on the shield, not going to be able to punish it though. Oh, the air dodge oh, is going to be called out with the Zare, with the up B. Dude. Let's go for something else. Come oh, keep going. It does. When does it end? Actual movie scene right now. Takara is not able to do a goddamn thing for the last minute of this entire game. It has been the Sunoko show. I haven't Takara. seen a lot of Sunoko, but is he like more aggressive or is he more defensive? Or, like, um, is there. An easy I, way to I, say it. it depends on the matchup. I, I definitely okay. think he's a lot, like he's definitely in your face when he hits something, though. Yeah. But definitely when it gets to hard neutral, he will never approach. But definitely, like once he hits an arrow, he's just all up on your face, calling yeah. out air dodges, things like that with a boomerang. He's so good at it. And yeah, just being in your face right there after that Zeropod, yeah, yeah. unfortunately not going to pay off with the down tilt confirmed, making it two stocks to two stocks here for Takara. Oh, that bomb! That could have okay. almost been a kill. Ah. Oh, that's the thing about focus. Yeah, very unfortunate there. Sunoko might have called that out just thinking he was going to focus and going with the forward air there yeah. instead of a down air. But oh, Takara's turn now though. Sunoko at 60% could very well die pretty early considering that Young League is not too heavy of a character and, you know, Ken, he's got that crazy kill power. So you can see him definitely making things back here. Yes, sir. A lot of pressure from Sunoko on Takara's shield though. Finding that forward air. Oh, the bomb. Oh, oh. I thought that Nair was going to bump him into it. That could have been a crazy yeah. combo. Uh, finding this forward air there. Gonna lead up to too much, but Sunoko controlling the center stage. Takara having to try and find his way in, finding the chaps into the rollout. So hard to punish these options here as Ken. Yeah, it's interesting though. to see how much Sunoko's like fighting Ken straight up. Uh, I probably would have expected like a lot more projectiles. But, Ooh. Uh, oh, oh damn. damn! Nice back air. Yeah, that nice kills straight up. Dude. I love a good nice back air from Ken. Surprisingly, just powerful whenever the show does just hit a back air. Man, it's crazy. Yeah, for sure. Nice pulling out the bomb though. Good back air from Sunoko here. Finding another rising back air. Calling out, he's just using these boomerangs to really call out a lot of jumps, considering yeah. that Takara really only has like the options to jump in order to just get in immediately. Yeah. Otherwise, oh man, that oh. down air. He jumped a little bit higher, that could have been it. Fortunately for Takara, disadvantage state was played perfectly here. Just hold on to the stock. Still though, if you find the jab, this could be disaster for Sunoko. But this lead trap scenario here, boomerang gonna hit. Not gonna lead to anything though. Playing things safe and oh, the drift back, another boomerang. Ooh. Takara Scary. needs to get in. He's at 154, but Rage Ken is nothing to joke about. Sunoko, another lead trap situation on hand here. Getting back on the stage, oh. but that jump call out. Gonna I was be getting kind of worried because he's past percentage where he can reliably get a, like, a kill confirm, but yeah. he just goes for the down air. Definitely Young Link suffers from the uh, Bayonetta effect of sometimes not being able to find a kill there, but yeah. fortunately for Sunoko, gonna get that hard call out with the down air. Down air is just such a powerful move, man. It's gonna definitely kill every single day of the week. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Alright, yeah, the, the guys yep. can't see the uh, commentator cam, so I don't know why they think I'm saying hello. All right, getting back to the game two here. What a performance by Sunoko. Definitely Takara was bringing things back towards the, his later stocks, but Sunoko was just playing neutral, which is marvelously in the vantage state. He was just calling out so many options from Takara, especially that edge guard at the first stock was just marvelous. Yeah, but he's mixing up his options between using the projectiles and using it like his actual fighting moves. Yeah. Like, he's making it very unpredictable whether Takara wants to like jump over and punish with an aerial or if he'll just get hit. 
like preemptively. Yeah. Definitely into carry, just one of the best at calling out these options. Once he gets a good read, you're just gonna be able to die crazy yeah. early if he finds these jab confirms. Especially into the shore you're using right now is a dangerous spot for Sunoko, and yeah, that's Ooh. gonna be it. No, never mind. Ooh. Just barely living. Nice DI from Sunoko here, but still at the ledge, calling out that jump. Not a strong option, but gonna be back off stage, and that air dodge almost getting snuffed out by the back air. Not enough range though. Kara straight up oh, in his shield, and wow. boom! He does not care if you're gonna try and jab, jab, maybe roll back. It doesn't matter if he just show you his out of shield immediately. Yeah. Jab, oh. uh, two jabs from Young Link are actually a really good option. Uh, I've seen a video, shout to Hive Steel, uh, regarding the first two jabs of Young Link. Yeah. It's like a really developed meta uh, that's part of the character, and apparently. Uh, Takara knows about it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta know all the matchups around for Sumapa if you want to take some games. And oh, nice. Oh. Gonna be able to confirm off of the bomb hit stun here with the dash attack. And oh, that could have been scary, but quickly for Sunoko being able to be a little bit too far left. And oh. that sure you can call out. Not gonna kill just yet, but gonna put him back onto this ledge and a little bit of a scare here. Trying to find it back here. Not gonna find it just yet, though. For Sunoko, he is definitely looking. A lot less comfortable than the last Ooh. match, but once he gets that force match, he definitely is going to be two stocks to two stocks here. Yeah. I mean, Takara, I think it was like a correct gamble, even though he lost it. Uh, if he got uh, Shoryu, he definitely would have killed with the rage. Yeah, if he got that strong hit. Ooh, who knows what would have happened. Ooh, parries. Ooh, Gary playing things safe, though. All the parry, nice nair. Trade off of that. Oh, he tried to find a panic air dodge, but Sunoko playing it smart and parry dodging to the stage here, knowing that Takara can't reach. Nice tech, though, by Takara. Oh, this is scary. Doesn't go for the shield break. Yeah, Takara's going for so many of these uh, Shoryuken reads, though. Yeah, and sure. damn, these up airs are hitting. And oh, wow, oh. catching the landing with a forward smash on the platform. Crazy awareness here. Gonna catch the bomb, though. Gonna be able to get back onto the stage. And oh, oh. air dodge straight through that. Doesn't go for a risky Shoryuken. He knows that's not punishable. Back onto the ledge here. Oh, tries to go for a ledge trap. Oh, he's on the shield. Oh, oh he's chasing. stashing. Oh, he's trying to scare oh, him. Oh, down those spot dodge. Got caught out. Nice. Scary. Forward air. Not going to kill just yet. Hadoukens. Oh, oh, OK. He's OK, he's off stage. He's good. Stage. Nice. Getting back onto the stage. Let's go for a down smash. Oh, yeah, yeah regrab. Some pretty unconventional ledge trapping from uh, Takara, but it's working out right now. Yeah, soon echo that ledge grab can sometimes mix up your opponent, but once it doesn't, you just know you're dead for sure. And damn, that sure you could, even if it fell out, was already a 40% combo. We were ranking yeah. the forward air, though, gonna be able to kill. Barely. Nice. This game is pretty even, I gotta say. Yeah, Sunoko, I think he's playing a lot more defensive this game. He's like, oh. noticed that he's at a deficit. He's like, running away a bit more, trying to take less risk. Touch. Ooh! But he's paying for it right now. Yeah, right now. Oh, goes deep for that Hadouken. Not gonna find it though. If he get caught his jump, that definitely would have been dead. But oh no, you oh. don't want to ever be here. Oh! Yeah. Corner pressure. Yeah, oh my god. It just. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're a top 100 player or an O2. -er. Once you're getting down tilted by Ken at the ledge, you might yeah. as well just kill yourself. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> just jump off the stage. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. I'm not giving you that stock icon at the end of the match. But Kara, evening things up. 1 1 here. Still did they go three, PS2 so. again? Uh, did they? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. I was not looking, but yeah, I would not be surprised either. I do love a good bit of PS2. Oh, yeah. Great. All right, yeah, the first match definitely looked like Sunoko had a lot of control over it, but Takara playing that last match very comfortably. I mean, both of them weren't yeah. like a wash from each other, but both of them definitely controlled the pacing of a match each. Let's see what happens in game three, who adapts better. Takara's definitely adapted a lot more before. I've seen him just like get really close games one and two, and then just like straight up three stock game three, like more yeah. times than I could count. It's crazy how well he is at just calling out bad options. Especially panic options, which, you know, a lot of people do against. Oh, 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 oh my god, if he hit that, oh, tries to do a tech chase. Fortunately for Sunoko, picking the right option, but man, is he scary. He's yeah. out of the situation now, though. Gonna be back into the neutral, but wow, just finding the nair. Almost clutch. Ooh. That Sunoko wants to keep his stock so bad. He's playing yeah. disadvantage so well here. Kara just trying to scout out any uh, bad option he can. Nice, finding the uh, bears here. 45% onto Kara. Oh, he just keeps jumping in. Oh, he's finding his Nair out of shield timings, though. Yeah, for sure. So I think I think Sunoko's sensing like a little bit of, not sensing a little bit of fear, Ooh. he's feeling a bit of fear, yeah. He's doing yeah. kind of risky jumps now. Yeah, gonna be able to get that Shoryuken call out and a sub 100 stock there for Takara. 
Definitely much needed in a matchup like this. Nice finding the Zare off of it, but gonna be able to whip that Zare. Now back at the ledge, this is very scary. But wow, nice call out with the aggressive up air off of the stage here. Yeah. Oh, fortunate clank with a boomerang there. Kara. Got center stage. Immediately into the side B, another wow. side B. Oh, gonna hit him with a back air. This is so bad. He's got the bomb though on hand. Gonna get it slapped right out though. Yeah, I had a RNG. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice down tilt. Is this an up air or up B? Alright, yeah. Nice. Sunoko gonna be able to even things up right there. He definitely needed that. Yeah. Oh, nice. He's gonna go again off stage. Oh, he just doing really good yeah. uh, up airs here. Yeah, he's getting off the ledge pretty well. Yeah, and getting off the ledge against uh, Ken is just definitely something you need to do, or otherwise yeah. you're gonna lose a stock so quick. Wow. But damn, with those down tilts though, you're definitely gonna lose the stock. Takara gonna be able to get the lead here. Oh, nice. Nice boomerang. Yeah, Takara oh, at 75%. Oh, he That's scary. Ooh, nice landing down tilt. Fortunately, Takara's gonna be able to patiently hold shield there. Going off these bombs. All the jabs. Yeah, oh, the double jab. can't react to that jab hitting. Oh, there. Dash attack. Good awareness. Sunoko just playing this ledge just like a mine right now. Yeah. Laying so many traps. The Kara, patient as ever, able to weave in and out. And oh no, oh, that's such traps. an unfortunate there. Yeah. Could have been a big punish from Takara, but luckily for Sunoko, not gonna get hit too crazy there. Oh no. Down tilt, not gonna hit the shield. Nice back air. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, the bomb yeah. into the boomerang into the forward. They're going to be able to secure that stock. Oh, my God. Last stock, game three. Just so scary. Of Ken from the Angel platform. Oh, no, whipping that grab. It's going to be big. Oh, no, nice DI, nice though. Nice DI, yeah. Uh -oh. Wow. Maybe at the ledge again. Sunoko have the bomb in hand. Tries to, again, go for an aggressive option. Oh, nice snare. Right wow. OK, up air. Uh. These risky jumps from Tsunoko, I feel they like... They are. And Takara, it, once Tsunoko gets into that raw show you call-out percent, it's gonna be looking grim if he goes for another yeah. one. Oh no, just calling an air dodge. Nice direction though, from Tsunoko. Finding a rising Nair. Gonna yeah. be able to just hit. Oh my god! Did he get up smash? I think that was up to you, honestly. Oh damn, was it? Nice trade then for Tsunoko. Yeah, for sure. Oh, tries to air dodge in. Another up air oh. call-out. He's in the shield! Oh no, up air! Boom! Up oh. Yeah. Damn. I was really close. Yeah, it's a Kara. Clutching. Clutching. Rising up air into the. He was able to land, too, and immediately go up for that up B. Yeah. Crazy I think, I think he uh, took the jump, which is probably why he went for that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'd love to care. Did you, uh, did you lose? <laughs> <laughs> why did you even bother doing the Ike dinner? Don't you play Mimit? Ah, so just because someone knows the Min-Min matchup, it's immediately losing. Mm. I see. So you're just a matchup checker. That's all you are. That's all you are. Ah, uh, I see. Never mind then. You got lucky. You got lucky. For real. Oh, sir. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Base Mage would have won that. All I'm Base saying. Base Mage would have won that. For real. Right now. Yeah, you can comment. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so where are we? Top top state loses quarters.